Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on Wellness KE. My name is Fatma. Here on Wellness KE, we like to offer women great information and solutions. That way they can be able to improve their reproductive health. Before we go too far, I want to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe button. That way we can be able to continue growing our community and work with the YouTube algorithm. And also, YouTube is actually going to recommend this video to more women if more people like this video. So thank you so much to all of you who keep on liking and commenting on all our videos. Thank you so much for the support and we continue doing this for you. Today we're actually going to be talking about the five foods that keep worsening menstrual cramps. So let's get to it. So if you've clicked on this video, then you want to learn the five foods that keep worsening your menstrual cramps. Before I start talking about these foods, let me share something personal. I have actually gone through fibroids and I've had really horrible menstrual cramps. And it was actually that bad. I would actually pass out from the pain. And also I would have to be medicated and rushed into hospital every time I had my period. This is not normal. And I know some women feel like this is something that is normal, but it is not. And sometimes when we're thinking about solutions, we don't necessarily think about our lifestyle or the foods that we eat. And today we actually want to get into these top five foods that keep consistently causing uh, painful periods amongst women. And also I want to mention the fact that most of our ladies on the Wellness KE platform who have been using our natural products have actually been able to get rid of painful periods. This is actually something that gives me so much joy because all these women have started taking the green tea, turmeric tea, cinnamon tea, moringa, the neem tea. They've been using uh, the seeds for seed cycling. And as a result, they've actually gotten rid of their painful periods for good. So if you're interested in doing the same and finally having a painless period, please make sure that you call the number on your screen and we'll make sure that you get the products and you start your happy, healthy journey today. So here are top five foods that are actually causing painful periods amongst women. The first one is dairy. So consuming dairy products is actually going to worsen your period or your menstrual period. This is because dairy or any dairy product, and by that I mean milk, I mean cheese, I mean ice cream, all these foods actually are going to worsen uh, your menstrual cramps because they actually cause a lot of inflammation. Um, and also inflammation worsens menstrual cramps. You have to remember that dairy products actually contain something known as arachidonic acid. And this arachidonic acid is also um, an omega-6, omega actually, omega-6 fatty acid, and it worsens painful periods. It really increases your levels of inflammation and worsens the pain. So taking foods that are... Um, dairy products is actually going to worsen your cramps. What you can do instead, if you're really used to a cup of milk tea in the morning or a cup of, you know, coffee with milk, then you can substitute with herbal teas. This is actually what has worked for all our ladies on the platform who struggled with painful periods. So you can start taking herbal teas like um, green tea, which is really amazing for getting rid of this problem once and for all turmeric tea because it's really good for getting rid of inflammation you can take ginger tea meaning you can take a thumb of ginger grate it and put it in water and boil and add black pepper and actually take this this is going to get rid of the pain as well you can take dandelion tea there are so many herbal teas that you can start taking that are going to be able to help you in getting rid of the inflammation and you substitute from the cup of milk tea that you're used to remember milk or any dairy product also is related to high levels of estrogen and estrogen as we all know is a hormone that when in excess actually worsens your period pain or rather your uh, painful periods so you actually want to take less of dairy products um, if not any that way you can be able to get rid of the problem so let's move on to the second one the second one is fried foods. I'm talking about fried, fatty, greasy foods. Fries, burgers, uh, nyamachoma, 
greasy meats, all these foods are actually going to cause too much inflammation and they're going to worsen your menstrual cramps. So if you already have this issue and you're struggling with it, this is actually going to get much worse. What you want to do is um, actually uh, watch your sodium intake because most of these foods are fast foods and they do add a lot of additives and sodium to them, too much salt, too many chemicals. And because of that, this actually messes up with your system and worsens your cramps. Uh, so maybe if you really have to have the fries and you're really craving some greasy potatoes, then you can be able to make your own at home. Uh, this way you can control the amount of sodium that goes into the food. You can even try oven baked potatoes or pan fried or pan seared potatoes where you'll only use a tablespoon of oil and still get delicious potatoes. Make something like an avocado dip on the side, have a salad on the side, and you're still going to be able to get the same taste. It's going to taste much better and you're still going to be able to get rid of the painful periods. Um, let's move on to the third one. And the third one is alcohol. I know not many people want to hear this message, but it's the truth. And I'm talking all kinds of alcohol. Alcohol has been known to increase your level of estrogen. The thing is that when you drink alcohol, you're actually going to elevate your levels of estrogen or increase your levels of estrogen. And high estrogen causes estrogen dominance. Here's the thing. Estrogen is a hormone that actually performs many functions, one of them being proper blood circulation. Now, if you have high amounts of it, then it's actually going to make your blood thicker, the circulation will be slower and the blood will be more sluggish. And for that reason, you're actually going to have a struggle. The blood has a struggle in the blood vessels to, to flow through. And when there's a struggle, that actually means that you're going to end up having painful periods because there's too much contraction so that this fluid can move through the vessels. And this actually is going to cause painful periods. So please make sure that you watch your alcohol intake be very careful especially during your period because this is going to actually worsen your cramps ladies i know this is something that many women struggle with because today we actually got, received several messages from from uh, most of you saying that it's very hard to stay away from you know a glass of alcohol after work maybe you're tired but find a better substitute uh, to relax as opposed to taking alcohol because it's actually going to worsen your cramps let's move on to the fourth one foods that are high in sugar foods that contain refined sugar these are actually going to worsen your cramps okay this is because sugar causes a spike um, in, in insulin, it actually causes your, uh, your pancreas to release insulin and too much insulin also leads to even worse health complications. This actually, uh, ends up causing hormonal imbalance and this imbalance causes uh, menstrual cramps. So if you have painful periods and you keep craving sugary foods, what you need to do is actually substitute them with natural sugars. I'm talking about fresh fruit. You know, fruit is actually a better way for you to take in natural sugars. So if you're going to have a watermelon, if you can have some bananas, you can have a smoothie. It's still going to be really good. You can have some dried uh, fruit like dates. These are really good for you. Raisins. So maybe you're having your cup of oats. You can have dates in them. You can add raisins in them and some fruit. This is actually going to be even better for you. And also you can use raw organic honey. This is even better for you. That way you don't need to be spiking your blood sugar levels. You're actually working along and not actually going against your body's needs because these refined sugars and processed foods are actually going to worsen your menstrual cramps. Let's move on to the last one and it's caffeine. I know this is something that not many women want to uh, give up because so many of you are in love with your cup of coffee in the morning, but caffeine has been known to worsen menstrual cramps. So if you're used to taking a cup of coffee in the morning, then what you can do is try, try, try as hard as you can to substitute with a cup of herbal tea because you're actually going to notice a big change, a great change when you start taking more herbal teas. So for instance, maybe you're going to have 
a whole grain uh, vegetable sandwich or a tuna sandwich or fish sandwich, anything that you felt was actually going to uh, be your breakfast or your lunch. Um, if you always have this with a cup of coffee, then substitute with a cup of herbal tea. This is going to be better for you. You'll notice it immediately. The moment you actually swap these foods with healthier options, you will no longer struggle with painful periods. And I also want to add these five foods, they have been proven to actually worsen menstrual cramps. And for those of you ladies who feel like it's very hard for you to substitute and you need some guidance, please make sure that you let us know in the comment section below. That way we can be able to create a personalized plan that can actually be able to help you in getting rid of painful periods and also improving your health as you keep on going. Because what we're noticing is the food that we put in our body actually ends up affecting us in the end. It affects us, it affects your skin, it affects your, it affects your reproductive health, and affects your menstrual health. Menstruation is one of the great ways for you to know how healthy you are if you're not healthy. So what you really need to do is to fix your diet and nutrition. Also, something else you can add is some physical activity, be it 10 to 15 minutes of yoga, of uh, a walk, anything that you can do to include some physical activity so that you can have better flow, uh, blood circulation in the body. So the thing is that menstrual cramps are actually also caused by high levels of uh, water retention. Basically, whenever you drink alcohol or drink a lot of caffeine or caffeinated drinks, high levels of sodium and sugar, these foods actually make your body retain more fluid. So your body starts holding on to more fluid. And so what you need is the opposite of this. You need the fluid to be released because the more fluid you have, the more pressure you're going to have in your blood vessels. It's going to cause cramps. You're going to be bloated. You're actually going to always struggle with uh, weight gain. And because of that, this is going to make your menstrual cramps worse. So this information is meant to help you as you, you know, start your healthy journey and make sure that you achieve better menstrual health. And one last thing, I want to talk about cravings during your menses, because most of the times you find women struggle with cravings before their menses, during their menses, after their menses. These cravings actually are an indication that their levels uh, of certain vitamins and minerals that are much lower and also hormonal imbalances. So we're actually going to show you and talk to you about ways that you can be able to tackle these uh, cravings to eat better. That way, when you eat better, you actually get rid of the cravings once and for all. So we've come to the end of the video. I want to remind you, make sure that you place your orders for these natural organic products. Call the number on your screen or you can DM us or actually uh, comment below and tell us that you're interested in purchasing the products. We'll make sure that you receive them so you can start your journey today. Thank you guys. If you found this video helpful, don't forget, hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button because that way you'll know every single time we post a new video. My name is Fatma. Until next time, bye.